In this video, we add the basic command page with categories and commands with iteration and we also discuss some important CSS topics so don't skip that part and let's get into it so we left off with this blank canvas and if we go to slash commands we get this problem if we go to here that works fine we need to add this commands page so let's do that An index dot um, sorry, server.js. Okay, so we have index here and we have commands. Now, our routes here will get messy, so in a future video we'll, we can um, separate them into separate files. So that's what you can do with express router. That's one thing to note. So if we type rec res here, and then we type res.render, we're going to make a commands file here. Okay, so when we get commands, it will try to render the non-existing commands. Okay, when we refresh and it exists, let's add the commands.pug right here. Okay, so we have commands.pug, that's cool. Let's restart. Now, when we refresh, we get nothing. Okay, so before we get into this, we've added the routes, that's what we need for now. There is a slight problem with head here, header. We can simplify this to doc type, but that's not the problem. Okay, so when we go on the demo, it's actually a problem with the demo. Uh, the syntax looks very similar to this. I think it is like this. As you can see, the head here, uh, the HTML tag closes instantly. So while while that makes no style difference, and it's only minor, we want to fix that just in case. So how do we do that? What I'm going to do is do that, like put that there without these tags. I'm going to extract these important tags here, I guess, head and HTML, and then we're going to go into index, and instead of, this allows us more flexibility, but is the, um, with the cost of more code, so we add it like that, and so we can also extend the head like that. That's what we want, that's better, so now when we refresh, um, hold on, if we use the index route, and then we refresh, as you can see, um, something is going wrong here. Okay, body. <laughs> okay, the HTML closes properly, the body closes properly. Okay, cool. So if we go into commands, I just realized something. If we go into index, sorry. And we have BG transparent. BG transparent in here. And then CSS, we get rid of this background color white. BG transparent, if we look, BG transparent, transparent, yeah, that one. It makes the background transparent, which is very useful. I've used, I use it all the time, it seems. But we're gonna use that. So in commands, let's go in there. Let's add some actual commands. In here we have just placeholder commands. I'm going to improve that, but first, let's add this Jumbotron. We have a Jumbotron at the top. Instead, um, let's go to here. So we have kind of a Jumbotron on top with a H1 tag. I think we can center this as well, so we can use this, BG transparent. So utility classes, I use them all the time. Look, background gone. Um, commands, 1pg commands. Go get that SEO in. View, view commands for 1pg. There we go. Uh, star, we don't need the star. Uh, we don't need the add. Uh, HR, let's see what that looks like. Interesting. So we actually have a container, it seems. We have like a, a 
container. And what is a container? Um, what does a container do? We can view it in the docs. So it how it's required by the grid system. Basically, they just pushed both sides in with extra. Hold on, let's view that. So they push it in, as you can see, with margin. So the orange bit here, with the margin there. They just push things in the middle, kind of. Not sure which one looks better. We can just get rid of the one PG if we want. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, and now, okay, this is the the hard part. How do we automate this? How do we get this to work? Well, well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make. There's a tag called section. I like to use that. And then I usually name it with an ID that is the name, like name of section, but not in that case. But we can just name that um, commands, I guess. In um, camel case, I use camel case for IDs for some reason. But how how does this work? This is a column right here. We we're using a small column and a big column. So we're gonna do that. So we type row. I believe, no, this is not in a container. We should contain this within a container, if that makes sense. So section commands. And now we're gonna type row, because we're already in a container. Now column, SM3, so small three. I'll show you what that does in a minute. Nine. We're gonna use examples here. Uh, P small. Just um, for an example, three nine actually. I'm gonna have a border there to show the size of the boundaries, kind of. So this what this is what it looks like. The elements. There we go. Now, if you notice, well, you've just seen it. If we go to if we have a small screen clue in the name, what happens is they stack on top of each other instead of staying at this width. So let's demonstrate that here. This also, we should also have padding x2, which adds padding here on the small screen. I'll see what that looks like. Nope, that doesn't work. PL to PX2, sorry. So now that just adds a bit of padding there. We can add four if we want, We're feeling ambitious. But that keeps it within the boundary, really. That's what we want. That's good. So let's explore the grid system, the best part of Bootstrap. I get in the best part, probably the most used part, I guess, most popular. Okay, so we need to know what the device widths are. So there's 12 columns in a row. So this is one row. This is three columns of width. And this is nine columns of width. Let's add another one that says one just for demonstration. What's going to happen? Okay, so what happened is 1 plus 3 equals 4, and there's only 12. Only 12 columns can fit on a row, so 9 can't fit on a 13 length row because that doesn't exist. 13 column row, sorry. So it's pushed to the next row, but there we go. That's one thing to know. And now if we make this 2 instead, boom. They can all fit because all of these equal 12. I guess that's pretty simple. When the screen is above the small breakpoint, which is above four, um, 540 pixels, we want to display as three columns. Otherwise, snap and stack. That's the grid system, and that's why we're using it. 
So we have categories here. Now what are we using to display these categories? So we're using a documentation, a list group. Basically it's like a list, styling for a list, and then we have active here. So the syntax is, hold on, we're not ready for that. We have a list, first of all. So we have a list group, a UL list group. And then we have an LI list group item. Let's get rid of that for now. Hold on. Okay, so first of all, this is a row, remember? So, and this is going to be within a column. Here, call SM3. Call. And then we're just going to type test inside. So call SM9. That equals 12. 3 plus 9 is 12. And now we're going to also going to use this for the commands. So, like that. Bing. So now we have two list groups. Very cool. We're going to iterate over the categories here to display them, as you can see. Okay. We're going to iterate over them using a for each, but it's not called a for each, it's called each. Go to the PG docs. This is how you iterate. This is another way of displaying variables. We use this syntax right here. We're going to use that. And it produces the same result as that, which is something to note. So each val in array also works for objects, but each val in some array. So we're going to go to server.js and pass that in. Hold on. Like that. I'm going to pass in. Subtitle, we can add this dynamic subtitle now, and we can also have the category names as an array. Now, when we restart, let's correct that a bit. So, in um, with the columns, you can see they're joined together, we don't want that. There's a bit of space here. So what we can do is we can type M Y2 my two margin Y2 or we can just type margin bottom two. So in here we don't use test, we write name. We're gonna add mix-ins. So what is a mix-in? Well, they allow you to create reusable blocks of PUG. So we declare one like this. Basically a function, but it returns PUG code. allows you to reuse it by typing this syntax. So in includes, we're going to add a file called mixins.pug. This way we're going to separate the mixins and add them. So we have a instead of typing them at the top, we have a, here, we have a category. So we can type mix in category. So we're gonna type name. It also has an icon, by the way, name icon, so. Before we get onto that, we'll show what the icon does. And we'll add an inline. This is the inline. Um, so this adds an element within the list item here. We can also type this, basically, and it will use a t tag, if whatever. Use a t tag instead. But we're going to make a li here. We're going to. We're going to add something within the li, and it's going to be called. It's going to be the icon. So we add i, which is the element. 
dot fas. It starts with fas mostly, but we can just type class, and we can have a dynamic class here, icon. And that adds the icon class, and then it adds the names subsequently next to it. Cool. Now we at now we get server.js and instead of category names we can type categories. It's probably a better name. Categories. So now in categories we add name. We're gonna use this syntax and then icon, we're gonna use objects FAS. FA Gavel, that's what it's called. FA Music, I think they, most of them will work, but we'll find out. Restart. What is this? Uh, this is Coins, yep. Yeah. Star Music. Bing. There is a problem with indentation. What is that? We're not even using the mixin. What is going on? So in categories. So what we do, we shouldn't have done that. So what we do is we type category name um Category, category, I'm going to use category instead, uh, dot, we can just pass in the category and just have it like that, to be honest. There we go. It's much easier, less parameters. Okay, so we use the mixing category, but we don't currently have the mixing, so let's include. Includes slash mixins. That's it. Bing. So now we get the categories FA coins. Uh, it's not working. We need these coins. And the subtitle here is working as well. And it changes dynamically. We get the coins. That is cool. It's what we want. Okay, in the next video we will be actually rendering the commands here, like that, using jQuery, which we'll get into in, in the next video, but that's pretty much it.